it's Ratafire Roots Fest 2018, it is the fourth annual um, <coughs> annual presentation. And it's at Long Bay Beach Park in Negril, Westmoreland, Jamaica. And um, it goes from the 14th of December until the 16th of December, right there in Long Bay Beach Park, Negril. But as you know, Blender came in last night and he's, he's one of the headliners of uh, Roots Fest. But also you have Richard Spice, you have Warrior King, you have Kabaka Pyramid, you have the Scatterlights, you have Maki Conscious, Neda Light, Mikey General, um, Kelisa, Kelisa Ambessa, Kes Nandi, you have Shusha, um, a, a, a female reggae singer from Israel, you have um, Prince J, and naturally there will be more youths, especially youth wanting to display their talent. And I give thanks because on Sunday, you know, we have the shows Friday, Friday and Saturday. Friday night, Saturday night. But we also have a dub session on the Sunday with the award ceremony. And so we'll be having dub wise and youth from dub club. But this is something that has been catching on to youth rapidly all over Jamaica, where, you know, youth just go back to the old time music, the dub thing where. Seeing that if one generation and some of the generations that you know of our people have missed out on that, so these youths are you know bringing back, bringing back the old age, you know, bringing back the vinyl. So yeah, the Sunday is when we will be focusing on that. And um, but Sunday is a special day because, as I know, um, we focus on health and wellness, right? So, you know, we don't sell alcohol, we don't sell fish meat or any of those things. Um, but Sunday we want it to be a special medical day where we invite Barry G, Barry, Barry Gardner, the boogeyman from Melo FM, who, you know, one might know is um, seriously involved in, in health programs, dealing with health issues. So we, I have asked him to coordinate a health um, and wellness presentation with, which will consist of Dr. Hall, Dr. Anthony Hall, who is a neurosurgeon here in Florida, um, and, and Dr. Dr. Pattinger, who is a Jamaican doctor living in Trinidad, and he was a part of the planning committee of the event that took place in Trinidad. So along with other doctors, because I have an ex-doctor, um, he is from Barbados, Barbados um, White, living in Canada for years, but who is also um, involved in the cannabis industry in Canada. So he will be coming to present, and I don't know yet, maybe there might be other doctors who are involved, yet yeah, trying to get Dr. Henry Law. You know, but we want that day to be a real health and wellness education and day where the families can come out and be informed about the benefits of herb that has been fought against, that has been stigmatized and demonized for all these years by this Euro colonial system. So, you know, we want people to understand, to understand that Roots Fest is a revolutionary platform that addresses not only the idea of the injustice that I and I have undergone over the years where Herb is concerned, but to deal with the injustices suffered by other people all over the world, whether they may be black, whether they are Native American. You know, but it happened just that there is just one evil system, and that system is the Euro-American colonial system. And we have a responsibility to fight it everywhere, anywhere, anyhow. And as Rastafari, we choose to fight it strategically by reaching out to the minds of our people. Because it is the minds of our people that this system, Babylonian system, have taken hold of for the past decades and centuries since it was said that slavery was abolished. And the chains naturally were moved from the hands and feet, but until today, neo-colonialism, economic enslavement of our people continue. 
and the living standard of a people in a lot of instances is way below what could consider as humane standard. So we have to continue that fight. We use herb um, within the Root Fest platform as the focus, but also, like I said, we use the event to address the issues of injustice anywhere and as such we always try to reach out to our Native Americans.